app is touch port dot sh so i just gave a name port dot sh ch bar triple seven port dot sh all right next step is i need to open it up i'm going to open it up with nano my text editor all right first command as you know we need to declare the library all right then of course you can create for example your uh, variable if you want let's create a variable let me create a variable line equal to all right and then let me echo echo and let's say welcome to port scanner and if you want to bring it in the middle let me do that here bring it in the middle all right so port scanner and welcome to the port scanner and after that let's say echo dollar sign line and now what i'm going to do is echo a blank line echo enter the website to be scanned enter the website to be scanned and to take the website onto the same line minus n you guys know that minus n parameter will give the user read for example let's name it dns all right so whatever user will input it would be stored in the variable called dns after that what you going to do command is nmap so i'm going to put sudo nmap and let's say minus uppercase o or let's say minus s uppercase s since can minus p port 2021 and dollar sign dns now dollar sign dns is basically where the user whatever user input it's going to come down there after that i can do one thing echo dollar sign line echo you can put here uh, os scan starts now os scan starts now and i'm going to put a dollar sign again echo dollar sign line and i'm going to put a new command sudo nmap minus uppercase o dollar sign d ns and then of course you don't have to do anything else other than i mean unless you want to put some banners some other stuff so let me quickly run it and then i'll come back to it so if i run the script port dot sh uh, it's asking me enter the website let's say gunettech dot edu password you need to put the password because it's required pseudo privilege you guys can see here the ports have been scanned and now next the operating system scan has started so everything has done i'm going to go back to my script again and stop recording